In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to use the portal tab within a record to send portal invites, collect documents, things like that. Um, you will notice the portal tab here within a record. If you do not see this tab, just reach out to support at setshape.com. We'll be happy to take a look, see exactly why it's not there. Most commonly, it just means you don't have portal access on your system, but we'll be happy to get that enabled for you so you can start sending portal invites and requesting documents from there. So once you land here, before you send the portal invite, just select the document set that you want to request and hit send portal invite here in the top right. You can send it via email, text message, or by copying the portal link and sending it over. This bottom one is good for if they use an unconventional means of communication like Facebook Messenger or um, you know Instagram Messenger, things like that. But once you copy the link, their status will update to application sent. And once they start it, it'll move to application started. And once they complete it, it'll go to completed. All automated just to save you time and keep you updated as they're moving through the process. At the top here, you will see the total docs owed, total docs pending review, and total docs accepted. So once they upload a doc, they'll show under pending review. All you have to do is accept it if it's what you need, reject it if it's not. When you reject it, it'll ask for a note. Let's say not uh, government issued. And you'll see our pending review went down to zero, our docs owed went back up, and this is showing as declined. If it is what you need, just click approve and it'll go from owed to accepted. Very, very easy. Uh, a couple things I like to highlight as well is at asking for new documents outside of these need lists. You can check mark whatever you need and hit update needs list in the top right. You can update with a notification via email or text message or without any notification at all. And once you update, the screen will refresh to reflect that new information. And you can see we went up to 12 docs owed. Once they upload them, we'll approve them if it's what we need, reject them if it's not, and these totals will reflect. You can click the three dots on the right to preview the doc, download it, um, edit it, such as changing the name, sending it via webhook, or deleting it out of the system. With downloading, you can download them one by one, or you can just check mark what you want to download and scroll to the bottom and download it to a zip file all at once just to save you some time. You also have the ability to add custom docs outside of this main list. Just by hitting add custom doc, select the document type, give the description to the customer on what you're needing. You can upload a PDF sample as well as map it for eSign if it's something that needs to be signed and sent back to you. Then just click save and check mark the custom doc, update the needs list so that they can see what you're requesting and get it back to you. One thing also important to note with uploading documents is just that no matter what the applicant uploads, whether it's a PNG, a JPEG, it'll automatically convert that to a PDF for you to save you time you know, of having to put it in like Adobe and converting it to a PDF from there. Another very helpful feature is help with Google Remote Desktop. These will be for the applicants that are really struggling with getting you documents. You know, they don't know where they are or they don't know how to get them. You can log into their computer with their permission, get those documents, save you a lot of back and forth uh, between you and that applicant trying to get what you need. Also from the bottom of the portal invite, um, the portal tab, you will see trash documents that you can restore if you accidentally deleted them. And at the very bottom, you'll see answers to any custom questions that you asked, as well as where you can reset their password if they forgot it. Let us know if you have any follow-up questions, but we hope this video helped.